Decision Time. A message by Patrick H. Bellringer. Today we stand at the threshold of a new world. The frequencies of our Mother Gaia Earth have been steadily rising and are now at nearly fifth dimension. The same is true for those who have awakened to truth. This is decision time for all who live on planet Earth. This is the last call to those many who are yet asleep in the lie of God Jehovah Satan. Read the signs of the times, my friends, and know in your heart that the coming of Isu Emmanuel Sananda, the one who was called Jesus the Christ, is very near. The signs are everywhere. The dark side is in its death struggle, and is using every means possible to win against the light. The third dimensional pathway is a spiral upon which one never stands still. To move at all is to go either upward toward the light or downward into the increase in darkness. Life is dynamic. Life is constantly changing and pushing us to keep moving. The decisions we make move us upward or downward on the spiraled pathway. The challenges are ever greater, as the dark side strengthens its death throes attack. Thus, those who withstand the dark side attacks by calling in the light of Creator God are becoming stronger and their light shines with greater intensity as rising stars. Those who succumb to the evil, move ever downward into greater darkness on their spiraled pathway, and the light fades for these falling stars. Thus, we know with certainty, today, that all around us a great paradox is happening, where evil is becoming worse and goodness is becoming better. In fact, evil has become so bad on Earth Shan that it has exceeded any past time. Even Satan has said that evil has far surpassed his own powerful imagination. We do not dwell on this negativity, as we see many signs of hope and renewal everywhere. Miracles are happening, frequencies are rising, people are awakening to truth and the mass consciousness of Earth Shan's people demand peace, now. For those, who have not yet chosen, this is decision time. This is the final time of sorting on Earth Shan. Do you want to leave this planet and go on to another third dimensional life stream of challenges by the dark side, or do you want to enter fifth dimension along with our planet? This is now the final call to return to the light of Creator God Aten of Light. I am totally serious when I say that this is the final decision time for all people on planet Earth. Isu Emmanuel Sananda shall return at any moment to remove his flock to safety, as Earth Shan begins her serious self-cleansing. Your decision shall be rendered absolute, and it shall be granted, as you have chosen. You shall leave this planet and return to the Great Wheel of Reincarnation, or you shall board evacuation ships and enter Heaven's Gate of Fifth Dimension. I have written this in the words and the energy of Creator God of Light. So be it. The ominous question that is ever present is do you believe what I say is truth? Always the dark side uses doubt to win the day. Free will always allows you to choose truth over lie, but how do you know truth from lie? Go within and ask your God Spirit. Your God Spirit, the Spirit of Creator God within you does not lie. You must learn to listen to the voice within and not to the voices all around you. Do you believe this is possible? How can you hear Creator God speaking to you when you believe that this is not possible? How will you enter the golden age of heaven, when you believe that heaven is somewhere off in the pink clouds of 3D? My friends, it is all about belief, faith and knowing truth. Would you choose to return to another 3D life stream? Quite sad. Is that what you truly want?
Would you not rather have paradise of the highest order than another 3D trip of pain and suffering, disease, evil, violence, chaos, lies, hatred, tiredness, discouragement and death? I repeat, this is decision time. This is the time of choosing your next pathway that you shall surely walk. Joshua of old stood before the people and urged them to choose wisely whom they would serve. He said, Choose you this day whom you will serve, but for me and my family, we shall serve Creator God. It is all about choosing, and your choices rest upon your belief system. Do you even believe there is a Creator God? Do you believe that there is no one Creator God, because we are all gods? If this be so, what nonsense you have allowed into your belief system. For an answer to your dilemma I quote from Phoenix Journal No. 27, Phoenix Operator Owner Manual, page 19. A. The highest command of the law of the creation is, achieve the wisdom of knowledge in as much as this will enable you to wisely follow the laws of the creation. B. The highest command of the law of God is, you shall honor God as the ruler of the human races and follow his laws for he is the king of wisdom. 1. You shall have no other gods than God creator before you. Abide with the laws of the creation which encompasses all, also known as the law of one. There is only one creator source of all that is who resides in the Isle of Light or Paradise, the hub of the cosmic wheel of the seven super-universes. Creator God Aten of Light is the creator of our Nebadan universe. We are to honor Creator Source, and Aten, our creator and creator of our Nebadan universe. He is the ruler of the human races and we are to follow his laws, for he is the king of wisdom. He desires to speak to all of his created beings, and when he speaks to you, you had better listen. What you believe to be true about Creator God Aten determines your choices each day of your life. All of your choices and all that happens to you rests upon your belief system. It is through belief faith that you create your way. Let me give you a personal example. In the mid-1990s over a period of several months my wife and I and our children one by one were called to a small town in South Dakota. By faith we severed ties with employees, friends and family and made the move to a vacant house of a relative. There we determined what our work was to be and where we were to do it. We had no doubt about the knowing that we were to be in Rapid City, South Dakota, but we knew virtually nothing about the city and the conditions there. One day in late winter we decided that it was urgent that we make the move. So we packed our old van and our car with as much as was possible, and leaving our grown children behind, my wife and I set off into the darkness for our destination 350 miles away. We had no place waiting for us and knew no one in Rapid City. We went in faith, knowing that we would find what was needed for our family and our work. We told our children that we would return for them and the rest of our possessions within two days. An hour into our trip we were engulfed in a sudden snowstorm that left eight inches of snow in the Black Hills. Doubt crossed our minds, as we questioned the wisdom of continuing our journey, but we continued on. Arriving in Rapid City in early morning after a long and difficult journey, we went from tourist information to realtor to realtor looking for a four-bedroom house to rent on 40 acres of land with beautiful trees and a stream running through it. People told us that we were insane, that we could not even find a two-bedroom house in winter in town in the middle of the month to rent, let alone a four-bedroom house in the country. We found a realtor, 
who that very morning decided to rent his daughter's vacant house, because three months previously they had moved to Japan for a five-year tour of military duty. For three months the angels had been keeping that house for us. By the way, that house was a spacious nearly new four-bedroom house on 120 acres of alfalfa land with a windbreak, a beautiful view of the Black Hills, and painted a beautiful yellow color, Sananda's color. Within two hours of arrival at Rapid City, we had rented the house, and we returned that same day to our children. I assure you, my friends, that it is through belief in the impossible that we create our way. This is decision time, not tonight or tomorrow or next week. Now, at any moment Creator God shall give the order and Isu Emmanuel Sananda shall return for his flock, and all shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. There shall be such fun, such happiness and such peace for those, who are ready. My friends, be ready. Put your belief systems in order. Follow your heart and choose wisely. Be ready for the greatest moment ever to occur on our beautiful planet. Cross your name off the stay list and write it on the lift off list, and do it now. It is all in knowing truth that you believe and decide wisely. It is truly a matter of the heart. The Phoenix Journal's contact newspaper archive site is at http colon slash slash www.phonixarchives.com. The Bellringer writings are at http colon slash slash www.fourwinds10.com. Editor's note, to all my listeners and viewers, please check out the description section of this video for the above links and access to the recommended starting set of Phoenix journals as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation. Especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always, have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.